Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play SD Gundam G Generation Overworld. In the last part we uh, triggered the first gen break, which involved uh, destroying a battleship right about here. And uh, yeah, so we've got, uh, now we've got a couple of guys up here to deal with. Ooh, there's the lag. Uh, we've got uh, some Rick Diaz's to capture and then on the second map we have a few, uh, a few more enemies to deal with. Also, the lag is really bad on this map for some reason. So, over here we've got... Mashima Selo in a... Uh, what is that? Um, a uh, Hama Hama. Which is just a big... Uh, big blasty mech with, uh, with, with uh, incoms. Which is nice. It's quite nice. It's, it's an alright mech. But it's not like a new type mech or anything. Not really. And, uh, Karasun in the Arjaja. Which is also just a pretty meh, pretty pants, uh, blasty mech. These guys aren't that great. Also, we've got some Gaza Ds, which are almost as mooky as you can get. And the Endra, which is a really weak battleship. Albeit one that houses some Gaza Ds that I want to capture. So, that's literally it on this map. Oh yeah, and uh, as for characters on our side, we've got our old friend Judao Ashtar in the Double Zeta Gundam. Double Zeta is a really powerful mobile suit. It's huge, it's powerful, it has ridiculous weaponry, and a really powerful map attack. It's really good. Like, really very good indeed. Also, it has a biosensor. So, without further ado, we will need... We're, we're going to... Yeah, our... Uh, my strategy now, at the moment, is to come up here and clear these guys out, and then depending on what the enemies do, either come up here to fight them or wait for them to get to me. So, this battleship can't come down because uh, because the Exia is in the way. Uh, Mashima and, and Kara can't come down because the uh, Ptolemaeus is in the way. That is exactly how I would like it. It wasn't, it wasn't planned like that, but I'm glad that it happened like that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take advantage of that happy accident there. But, and yeah, we're just going to blast this, uh, this couple of uh, enemies out of the way. That's it for that, for, for Hero. I don't think I can get anybody else up there in time, so we're just going to end the turn there. So you guys aren't going to do anything. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Oh, I forgot, I forgot that there were some more enemies there. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please, please don't hit me until 30%, though. Please. <clears throat> Come on. 30%. Dodge. Yeah. Nice. Good. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to shoot you with a beam rifle. Beep, beep. And, uh, yeah, you're dead too. That's good. Bye-bye. Actually, this can't have been, uh, late Gundam series, because there aren't any jigses. Um... Yeah, just more attack, more evade, and, uh, more HP, I think. Yeah. Mm. You're coming down. You're going to shoot at the hero, who's out of energy, and so cannot counterattack. Damn it. Oh well. Battleships aren't coming down. That's fine. You guys are, are in fact coming down. Or attempting to at least. I am going to troll the shit out of these guys. I'm going to massively troll them. These guys by just continually getting in their way for ages. They are. What are you going to do about that now, friend? <laughs> So you go in there, you come in here, 
and you're just gonna charge upwards. So now I can uh, bring Camille back in. Instead, send out someone who can uh, counterattack effectively. Uh, so we've got our uh, our uh, Kamehameha blast. Weep. Blech. <laughs> huh. Well, that's uh, yeah. That's 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 like a sun. Jesus Christ. Thanks, thanks, Gundam Universe. You made a you've made a mobile suit that c can basically make a sun. Like what? I'm sorry. Oh dear. Can't range there. Ah, of course, Valda can reach. Valda can reach a lot of things. So you're dealt with. Bye bye, Sergey. As for you guys, yeah, I can, I can deal with you pretty easily, I think. Well, that's nice. Good and good and good. There goes one. And then we've got... Two and three? Two and three. Oh, maybe... Maybe another one and then... And then the yeah, still. I can't reach it. I can't reach back to the battleship if, if I if I move away. So I'm going to use this this first instead. Bye bye. Bye bye, mobile suit. Now back in the battleship, you two. As for this, as for this battleship. You're coming up fast as well. So, Kshatriya, we're gonna just shoot at this guy a little bit. There's the uh, Mega Particle Cannons. Bye bye. There goes a lot of your health. That's nice. Now let's finally show off what the destiny is about, shall we? Destiny Gundam! Well, that was a, lo a lot of damage from someone at, at base will. <laughs> and there's, uh, yeah. Hey, we got plus two to shooting. That's nice. More, more accuracy on ranged attacks. Can't reach anything with you. Nor you. Can I? Yes. But just with funnels. That's okay though. I'll use funnels. Vanity. We. There's the funnels. Blah 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 blah. Bye bye. See, I like funnels because their damage scales hugely with in return, uh, like compared to uh, willpower, to to to, to morale or uh, tension rather. The problem with them is that they cost morale to use. So if you if you if you manage to get the kill, if 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 you bleh, sorry, yeah, if you uh, if you use a funnel attack and don't kill the enemy, you end up at the same uh, tension. If you miss an enemy, you lose tension a lot quicker. And if you do kill an enemy, you boot, you increase your amount, your tension, but not where, but not as much as you would normally. This makes them basically a, uh, you know, a, a, a backup weapon at best, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I never, I never talked about the uh, gen break, did I? I forgot. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. So the gen second generation break is to uh, 
have Judao destroy... Oh, hi. Yeah, uh, the second gen break is to have Judao destroy Mashamaya, while the uh, challenge mission is to have Judao destroy Mashamaya after someone has... Uh, after Kara soon has been destroyed. And that doesn't need to be uh, destroyed by Judao himself, but uh, still. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so you're changing to flight mode and uh, attacking the dynamis as well. That kind of sucks. <laughs> Ow! That oh god, that was a lot of damage. Jeez, the dynamis is nearly dead. Dynamis, the dynamis has nearly been destroyed. That's kind of a problem. Uh, I need to. Uh, I need to get him back into the battleship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bup, 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 bup. Yeah, yeah. That, there's the alert. Not quite in danger yet, apparently. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, no, uh, defend. Ooh, that would have killed him if I. If that would have killed him if I hadn't defended. That would have killed him. Okay, so you guys can come down here, start dealing chip damage to uh, Soma. Meh. Bye bye. <laughs> so uh, that's uh, yeah, that was some appears. Okay, right. Dynamis, get back in the battleship. You're nearly dead. And Jude out and come up and uh, show off what how ridiculous he is by probably one shotting at least one of these guys. I'll just do the support because I might as well. But. That's the Exia. Nah. Giant beam saber. That's the standard beam saber, by the way. It's a beam saber taller than the Gundam, and that Gundam is made up of three other Gundams. This thing is humongous, and it's ridiculous, and I love that. Beam. Mm -hmm. Not that big a beam, apparently, according to the uh, animation. But oh well. Still, I mean, it's not a beam. It's not a, uh, a piercing beam, but still. And yeah, we'll just show off this this uh, giant laser as well. Hyper beam cannon. High mega cannon. Ah. I mean, it survived, but only just. <laughs> now, you guys have moved over. Just keep getting in the way. Stall them for as long as possible so that I can uh, I can deal with the uh, the guys up here. And there goes some appearers. Bye bye. Yay, a level up for uh, for the Kshatriya. More damage, yes please. So let me just grab a couple of these. And that goes in there. Um, uh, the Susano can come back come back in. Come over here and grab the other. Rick Diaz. And there's nothing else up here, so uh, we can turn around and start dealing with the Endra again now. We might as well kill this thing. It's in the way. 
And now, yeah, we'll just put you in the battleship again. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, we've got battleships just moving out of the way of uh, the enemies. Endra's moving. That's okay. Yeah, so the, the Endra's coming, is moving, uh, moving closer now. So I did, in fact, get in the way slightly by accident. Oh well. It's not a problem. I'm just gonna turn around. And, uh, I'm just gonna turn around and, uh, and wait, I think. Oh, and uh, move everything out of the way as well. So that the Endra can come. So, so that the Endra and everything can come down. So, battleships are here. That'll do for the moment. Because you guys are coming down. And battle the stuff's getting let out. So I'm going to go and uh, squash those guys now. Not the, uh, not the units, the uh, battleships, that is. Just evade that or attempt to. <laughs> and Kara's gonna come down and do almost nothing. GN Sh Enfield. Let's just have a look at this animation. Yeah, it's a shoulder missile, that's alright. GN Field blocks all of it though. It's nice. <laughs> and here comes the Endra. Silly Endra, you shouldn't have left all your unit let all of your units out that at this that quickly. Poor play, guys. Poor play. Because now I can snipe at you for, for, from like ages, like just miles away. Okay, so this squad is the one that might need might need help dealing with their their side. I don't think it will, but it might. So instead, also this squad has Garrett in it. Garrett. Is automatic automatically wins. Bye bye, bye bye, Andra. We're going to blow up. And a level up for Garrett. Level up for our guys. Yeah, level up for our guys as well. Yeah. So. Uh, I can capture those guys now. So, without further ado... I'm just gonna blast at this guy. He might kill it. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a, a dead battleship already. Bye-bye. And we're at uh, high tension on the double X. I am actually going to put it back in the battleship though. Just going to grab some Tierans and uh, send these guys in here so that we can start wear wearing down the. Uh, so, so that we can start dealing with the uh, gen break stuff right now. Uh, yeah, so. Um, yeah, might as well. We'll do it with, uh, with uh, Callum. We just probably just slice car in half right now. To be honest, this will be pretty easy. I mean, the R Charger only only has thirteen thousand health. This is this is not going to be difficult to deal with. Bye bye. This will probably kill. To be honest, actually it might not. I don't know. I do tend to underestimate my units. Okay, there we are. I did. <laughs> there we are. Bye. Bye, Kara. Hey, level up for the uh, the red frame powered, which it's getting uh, more attack, more defense, more energy. And Calm got a level up as well. 
back in there then. And now Wolf is going to come along and, uh, and um, start attacking you as well. Please don't lag. For please, please do not lag at this excellent song. So, we... Dream server. Not bad. Not bad damage. I was, I was expecting a little more, considering we're in space, but... Oh, well. Uh... Do I even have someone that does small amounts of damage in this situation? I don't think I do. I don't have a Gatling gun on this team. Oh well, I'll just have to trust to, um, to I'll just have to trust to, uh, oh dear, what on earth has happened to this font? Jesus. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just have to trust to uh, Garrett doing a small amount of damage. Or actually I can use uh, the Axia to weaken it a little bit, I suppose. Yeah, well, that's not bad. Anyway, I'm going to cut the video here. I will see you guys next time when we trigger the second gen break. Bye, everybody.